All right, guys, let's talk about... All right, I'm just going to give it away. An awesome fixed blade. I'm not a huge fixed blade guy. I have a couple. Uh, I don't carry them around, you know. I don't carry a fixed blade, um, especially not kind of like a full-sized fixed blade. This is not an EDC fixed blade. But, man, this thing is so cool. This is, I don't know. This is a cool one. So let's talk about it. This is from uh, Go Knives, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, Resolute Mark III. You can see a little bit of information there. He is an Australian. It's Aaron uh, Go. He's an Australian Canadian maker. So he's up in Canada, but it hails from Australia, apparently. Uh, so loaned in by Alex. Go check him out. Link to his channel down below. First off, the colorway, black and green is totally my jam. Kydex sheath, awesome. Check this thing out. Let's just zoom in and take a close look at this thing. Really nice kind of just drop point. Totally usable blade. Uh, coated in DLC. So very resilient. Uh, protects the blade. It's A2 tool steel, so it needs a little protection there. G10 scales, G10 green liner, lanyard uh, hole, and an, a very nicely done integrated uh, glass breaker that's not sharp, but it's got enough of a point. You don't need a lot of sharpness to do glass breaking. You just need a, a kind of an acute point, and it doesn't need to poke you. It doesn't need to be uncomfortable. It just needs to kind of focus that pressure, and then, boom, breaks your glass. Nothing on the blade but his uh, signature there. Just a very well done user knife. This is just so cool. <clears throat> I almost prefer, I would almost prefer if these were blacked out um, pins or maybe green pins. Ooh, that might be kind of cool. Um, but man, this feels so good in the hand. There's no jimping, but you don't really need it. It just locks in and feels great. Yeah, I'm totally jazzed by this one. Um, Kydex sheath. A removable and uh, reversible um, belt loop. You can also take it off and put molly attachments and things like that. <clears throat> this would be a great one for like a backpack or something like that. Also, it would be a great knife for like your truck, your trunk, just to have a really good, high quality, strong fixed blade as like an emergency knife in your car. What I have before is the Etsy uh, 5, which really kind of dwarfs this. And this was one that I had had before that would be good for your car, your trunk, your truck, you know, kind of type thing. But this is big, heavy, certainly beefier. But do you need this kind of beef? Like, I don't know. Am I going to be breaking into bank vaults? Probably not. So that might be gross overkill. Coming from a guy that owns a Phil Harvey Peacemaker, overkill might, yeah, yeah, never mind. <laughs> but this is kind of a perfect size, perfect weighted um, fixed blade. So let's just go through the specs. Sometimes I put them down below. Sometimes I just include them here. So it's nine inches overall, 4.2 inch blade, 4.1 inch cutting edge. Blade thickness is 0.149. Blade steel is A2 tool, tool steel uh, at 62 and a half Rockwell. Uh, overall thickness for the, the scales is 0.791. Weighs in at 6.3 ounces by itself or 8.6 ounces in its package. The belt loop actually works and carries well on the belt. I did carry that around a little bit. Um, what else we got here? It's, it's a uh, CNC custom knife. The tang is skeletonized inside of the uh, scales. I couldn't really find a picture of how much it's skeletonized, but they do that for 
overall weight savings and to help with the balance, which I think is really nice. Uh, DLC coated, glass breaker, and yeah, some other notes that I had already talked about. Nice sharpening choil there so you can sharpen this thing all day long. I don't know. I think this is a cool one. And I'm not really super into fixed blades, but... And these are about... I looked on their website. And I'll put a link to his website down below as well. It was about $500 Canadian. So depending on the time and conversion and stuff, I think they're sold out right now, but you know, that gives you an idea. Um, and I think you can pick and choose your different uh, scales and things like that. But I don't know. It's pretty cool. What do you guys think about fixed blades? I, uh, I don't really have the need for them. I'm not going to carry them around all the time, although I am looking at a couple of different kind of EDC fixed blades. Um, I've been talking to Ed Kim over at Red Horse Knife Works. He's making a few EDC fixed blade Hellraisers. So I may pick up one of those and give it a try. Uh, he's been talking me, talking me into that and saying once you carry one, you'll understand why it is convenient and worthwhile to carry an EDC fixed blade. Since we're talking about the Hellraiser, let's just do a couple size comparisons here real quick. So it's roughly, I didn't even realize that until just now, it's roughly the same size as the Hellraiser, a little bit longer. But it does give you more bang for your buck to have a fixed blade over a folding knife for a lot of situations, okay? Not every situation needs a fixed blade. That is the Sharpie and the pencil. Um, how about the... VC Edge interface, because that's closer to the same size. Um, so yeah, you don't always need a fixed blade, but there are certain jobs where a fixed blade is the right tool. So I kind of get the argument of having a fixed blade handy. I don't know if your everyday people need to be carrying a pocket fixed blade. Let me know down below what you think, because I'm curious what the consensus is. So there you go, guys. Please go check out my fixed blade playlist over here for a bunch of other fixed blades that I have done over the time, over over time. Thanks a lot, guys.